Hello and welcome back to another useful video on research and publishing series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. When you write a manuscript, thesis or a review, you must have done paraphrasing or at least have heard about it. In today's video, I will share with you what paraphrasing is, why it is done, is it ethical to do paraphrasing and whether paraphrasing removes plagiarism. So watch the video till the end. When you rewrite a sentence using different words to express the same idea, meaning or concept of previously published work, it is termed as paraphrasing in scientific literature. But the major question here is why paraphrasing is done. Paraphrasing is done and sometimes even essential to assemble the scattered findings in different scientific work into your study. This is especially useful when you write a review paper or literature review. Paraphrasing is also done while writing the discussion section of your research paper, where you may need to discuss novel finding in the light of previously published work. Paraphrasing is also a way to clarify or simplify a concept or work. Sometimes paraphrasing is done to reduce the similarity score for uploading the manuscript to a journal. But one should remember that paraphrasing or rewriting using your own words without crediting the original author of the work is plagiarism which is not an ethical practice. Therefore, always remember to cite the original literature whenever required. Paraphrasing while maintaining the grammar, style and actual context can be challenging and time consuming. And to help, there are several AI tools that are proved to be useful for paraphrasing the text. I will be uploading a separate video on list of some of the most useful AI tools to paraphrase to reduce the similarity score and plagiarism along with examples. You can subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay notified about my latest uploads. If you find the information useful, do share it with others. You can also check out my playlist on research and publishing, techniques, bioinformatics, genomics, plant tissue culture, nutrition and health and lot more. Thanks and see you in my next video.